Hey guys, I am going to be doing a resin pour today and I'm just going to walk you through some of the tools uh, or some supplies that I'm going to be using. So anytime I do a resin pour, I always use the amazing um, two-part clear casting and two-part clear coating and casting resin. I get mine at Hobby Lobby. Uh, because you can get the larger boxes as you can see here for $23.99 Michaels will normally charge you $23 just for the smaller uh, box so I'll always get mine from Hobby Lobby and they've been on sale at $23.99 for quite some time so um, maybe they don't move the product as fast but anytime you're doing a resin pour um, and if you're new to resin um, there are other alternatives that you can use, some that they say are a lot safer. Um, but I do have my protective gear that I'm going to show you here in just a moment. But this is what I use, Amazing Clear Cast. Now, I have two boxes here because this box here is almost empty. So I'm going to use up this and then start on this one. So that's why I have two boxes um, here. I always have some craft sticks so that I can stir my resin. Now, this will come with like two um, sticks, craft sticks in the box, but you know, once I use those, I normally dispose of them anyway because I don't like anything that has had resin um, still on it around me after I'm done pouring. So I normally throw them in the trash. So you can get these at the dollar store, which I'm pretty sure I did. Um, or you can get them at any of the craft stores. And then since I'm gonna be doing kind of a larger pour, I have three cups here. I'm gonna measure um, equal parts in these two cups. And then I'm gonna take, once I get the equal parts, I'm going to take and then put them in one big cup. And then I have some smaller little cups here. This is just in case I decide to do separate colors um, you can pour your resin in here after it's mixed and then put your colors in here, um, you know, so that you can mix up the resin with the color. So you're not stuck with just one color and one in the large container. And then I have some glitter here. So this is Recollection, Recollections, um, different colors that I may or may not use, but, uh, I brought those in just in case I want to mix some of these and then over here I have what's supposed to be the glow-in-the-dark resin which it sucks so I don't recommend buying it I purchased it from Amazon um, and all the colors you see here it's what it came with um, and yeah the colors are not as they state so um, you can see here they have them labeled as to what color they should be when they glow in the dark, but they do not, okay? And they're from less resin, um, so I don't recommend them. And then this is the mold that I'm going to be um, using. It will be my first time using this mold. So you can see here, sorry about that, it has five different size and shapes that I can actually um, fill with resin. So it's going to be interesting to see what they turn out like. So I'm really excited about that. Um, you always want to be careful with your molds um, because they are kind of thin. And you don't want to rip them because then it defeats the purpose of doing a resin pour because it's going to seep out. And always pay attention to your molds because if it has a shininess to it, then that means that your um, your product that you're making in here will have a shiny coat to it okay if it's kind of matte or dull then that means that your item is going to be matte or dull okay um, but they do have some sprays that you can spray it with if it's matte or dull um, you know to add a little bit of shine to it but I normally like to get the ones that have the shine automatically um, this resin will take about 24 hours to cure so after I do my pour I normally do not um, demold them until they are completely cured okay 
And then I always, always, always have my safety uh, goggles and also my um, mask so that I can protect myself. Um, and the only thing I need to run and get is my gloves. But I just wanted to show you guys kind of like some of the things that I use for my resin pours. There's a lot of other things that you can buy to include in them. But I'm going to keep it kind of simple today. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So I will come back on and show you um, some of the process along the way. But I just wanted to do these in quick videos. I wanted to keep them at five minutes or less, but it looks like this one is already at five minutes and 40 seconds. So anyway, all right, see you guys soon.